is the third annual math contest that we've had at Kenilworth. It's where basically fourth and fifth graders are coming to take a math practice test. It's actually a sixth grade level test. So that's kind of awesome to like really challenge them as far as like the rigor of mathematics that they're doing. Um, but it's really just to see like what their level is and, and challenge them to push it further. It's a competition. It, it motivates kids. It gets them engaged. Um, it gives them a sense of accomplishment. And it also <laughs> involves their parents and their teachers because their teachers have to select them and identify them as part of the process. And that recognition is powerful. And the parents, parents support the support of their siblings and grandparents. And you've seen all of those around. We got this at Zachary Elementary School and thought it was an honor for him to come and join in this math competition and see how he does out here today. He's a straight A student. I'm taking my son to this math competition. He participated last year and he really liked it and wanted to participate again. I'm bringing my daughter Angelina uh, to, for the, the math test and also to introduce my other two children to this program and also to see the school. I am going to enter the math competition to, and uh, try to win, but I don't care if I don't win. I'm taking a math test to win a prize. So our organization is a uh, partner and a sponsor of today's uh, Math Olympiad. We advocate and, and, and try to work to ensure that low-income black families have access to multiple learning environments for their children, uh, charter schools being one of them. Uh, but then also we're very supportive of uh, transformational um, learning initiatives such as Common Core, uh, STEM, and things of that nature. So we're very supportive of this uh, this, this event because it focuses on STEM and it gets kids you know, interested in math in those areas. It's important that kids are participating in the fifth grade math Olympiad at Kenilworth because it exposes them to the kind of rigorous questions and to the rigorous um, competition that they're going to be facing next year when they're in middle school. I think like personally as a math teacher, I mean it's really, really great for them to see what they'll be learning in the future. So they'll actually still be able to apply a lot of what they're learning now, but it is going to push them. It's things that they haven't exactly seen before. So it'll be a really good opportunity for them to be like, okay, what I'm learning now is going to affect what I'm going to learn in the future and connect those two things. So I think that'll be really good for them. It brings like any sort of competition or things outside of school, it brings education into everyday life, which I think it's important for the kids to see that it's not just at school that we learn or like school is boring, learning is boring. It's like, oh, it can be a lifelong hobby, pursuit. Um, another thing that I think is really awesome is we get, you, you know, when, when, when kids come out to this, they don't come alone, they come with their parents and it creates, you know, family involvement in education and community involvement, right? I mean, these kids don't even go to this school and, um, you know, we see people that are just here to support education, support learning and like bring it outside of the classroom. I think it's good to teach them to be, you know, aware of, of it's good to be good at a skill and if you can excel at it, you can go places. I'm a professor, and uh, they are all a little bit, um, I would say, science, technology, engineering, and mathematic uh, geeks, because mom is, and I tell them, geeks rule the world, and it is fun. They love math, they love science, they love technology, and she, in particular, loves buildings. Uh, she was probably the only little girl that I knew when she was in the two-year-old program that actually built buildings and bridges with Legos while the other girls were playing with dolls. Uh, and she still, she's very artistic. She loves math and not just uh, the facts and numbers, she loves algebra and solving problems with math. I've explained to all of my children that numbers rule the world, that you can't do anything in life if you can't add, if you can't count, and if you can't reason with math. So they have been uh, taught to love math. They enjoy math. We try to make it fun. And I think being exposed to programs like this will just enhance their, uh, their academic abilities in school now and give them some visions of what they can do for the future. They need to get away from the computers and the uh, video games and actually do things that are going to promote their future. You know, things that can benefit them down the road in college and at their careers past that. We don't have we don't have a lot of these type of events for primary school kids. We have a, an organization of clubs and competitions at the high school level, but not very much at the primary level where, uh, where that's really the place you want to start to develop, develop students' interests. That's really where I think these things are formed. Having activities like this, you know, gives kids the opportunity to learn and, uh, and excel outside of the classroom. And so, you know, we're very excited to be a part of this. Um, 
you know, there are a number of challenges that our kids face academically. And so when organizations and schools tend to put things on like this, you know, we're going to be supportive because we want to raise the bar for our children in the state. Our kids are not only competing against kids, you know, here in the city of Baton Rouge or throughout the state. You know, we've talked about how they compete against kids in Texas and Mississippi, but the reality is that they're competing against kids, kids around the world. And so our kids have to be prepared to compete, uh, not in the 21st century, but in the 21st century and beyond. And so this is just one step in getting our kids uh, to where we need them to be. I think that uh, given that it's a sixth grade level practice test, it shows them what is expected of them when they reach middle school, uh, with a you know, certainly a little bit of friendly competition as well. Um, but it also it starts inspiring students from an early age to engage in activities outside of school uh, and certainly activities that will benefit their education later on. It's important for them to practice um, this outside of the classroom because it, they will face it more than just outside of the classroom. They are going to be facing it in the work environment. They're going to be facing it when they are dealing with real life problems. So they need to get exposure to that in the early stages of their life, like in elementary school where they are now. I think it's just practice. I know that in my classroom it's all about practicing. Sometimes even when it's difficult, the students need to understand that if you practice math, that you really can get good at it, even if you struggle with it at first. Um, especially in a testing environment, it's kind of unfortunate, I think, that in our education system it is so based on tests. But with that practice, I mean, they will be successful not only now, but when they have to take the SATs for college, when they are in college, they'll have to take exams. So it's just the way our world works, but it gives them a lot of practice starting out early. If you notice, and, and I had an opportunity to agree a lot of the kids and, and families coming through, they're all smiling. And so this is a fun event. They're, they're not being evaluated with negative consequences. This is an opportunity for them to compete with age-level peers, um, not only from their school, but other schools as well. And, and it's a positive event. It's, it's the kind of thing you see when you see kids playing in, in your yard. You know, they're enjoying what they're doing. It's, it's not all the, um, the negativity associated with, with testing in a normal sense. I think it's important because Angie came to me with the, the, the math Olympiad paperwork and she made sure that I went online and I registered her. She could be doing anything today, watching television, playing. He has a basketball game and Zoe actually has to go down to Baton Rouge High School. She's in the Louisiana Youth Orchestra. This was her choice to do today, uh, to participate in this math testing. and. Um, it's just awesome because this is something she wants to do because she had choices to do other things but this is something that she wants to do and I support anything that they want to do that's uh, academic enhancing and, and as long as they think it's fun. I think it shows them that they, if they do well, it shows them that they already are ahead of many other children and that, that gives them self-confidence that they can do this as going into middle school and be ready for taking on even harder math. Anything to stimulate them and keep them interested in school and let them know that it's fun. You know, it's not always I have to go do homework, I have to study for a test. Anything that could benefit them down the road. And I took lots of math in school. I'm an engineer myself, and and I enjoy math. So I'm glad he wanted to do this today. Why is it important that you're participating? So I can see how well I'm doing at math and try to improve my results. It helps me uh, with my, my math grades. It also um, helps me improve my already very good math. I hope that they really enjoy it and they'll see that like even if they don't do well maybe like right off the bat again if they keep trying that they'll see that improvement um, again hopefully it's just fun for them it should be like I guess a little bit less stressful than taking their end of the year exam it's just like a practice test for that so I hope that they will actually enjoy it and um, see that like math can be fun. I hope that they take away more of that that connection of um, I do something, I learn something, I perform, uh, I excel at it, and then I get something out of it. So that immediate reward kind of thing. So it's not just like planting a seed and then waiting for it to um, germinate later. I want them to get that instant immediate reward. I want them to connect that sooner. So one, I hope they have fun because like I said it's important that education is seen as something that is can be fun and um, two that they feel a sense of accomplishment I mean whether or not they win I mean these are kids that are out here on a Saturday to take a math test so I hope that they feel like okay we're on the right track and um, so yeah that feeling of success as well as um, having fun having a good time. I hope they take away that they've had a good time and that they want to continue doing continue doing mathematics actually. Yeah of course he wants to win but uh, 
just knowing that he came out and, and took part in it, and as long as he gained something from the experience. Excitement and a sense of confidence that in fact they came here and they competed with some of the most motivated and talented kids that are their ages um, in this region. She wants to know where she is mathematically. As her mom and as a teacher, I know where she is, but I want her to find that out from this testing program. I also want her to meet new friends, uh, to look at new opportunities and places that she may consider going to school. Currently, she goes to Ronald's, which is an awesome private school, uh, but I've been trying to introduce them to some schools that uh, focus in science and technology, math, science and technology, so hopefully she'll just have a broader perspective, uh, not just on academia but on friendships and and the different places she could attend school in Louisiana just to see how much how how well I'm doing and how much I learned one thing that I hope they take away particularly uh, little black boys and little black girls specifically uh, is that math is fun and that math is exciting I know kids tend to be afraid of math and they tend to be afraid of reading uh, but we use math and we use reading in our everyday life and so um, you know, I hope that they would begin to see and really embrace it and understand how it applies to their life. And so, um, again, that's why we're excited about it um, because, you know, our kids are lacking in math and reading. And so when organizations do something that's being done today, it really helps to kind of take away the fear that kids have about math. No, I really think just uh, excitement and energy for their future academic progress to realize that, you know, yes, tests and quizzes, they're important. But if we're able to apply it to something more, uh, we can really benefit ourselves personally. And even though it is a math test, that feeling of competition adds a little something else to it. And but no, so I think success, energy, and, and having fun is really important. Well, the biggest takeaway would be that science is not something to scare off, and that science is interesting. Science is all around us. Uh, and also, science has a very bright future as far as jobs go and as far as uh, uh, these professions uh, go. It's very fast improving uh, field, you know, uh, as far industry wise and education wise. Um, and the biggest takeaway is how important science and STEM in general is, uh, you know, getting it from STEM Expo or from the math contest. Um, that will be the biggest message we're trying to convey. This year we had a lot more students um, come out than last year and I hope that next year we have a lot more students come out because the competition is getting really, really fierce and I hope that it keeps going in that direction next year. I think that it's a really good turnout so far. If you look outside, we had a ton of kids coming out, which is amazing. Again, as a math teacher, it's great to see those young minds like really striving for competence in mathematics. And um, so I think we had almost close to 400 students register this year, which is a huge turnout from last year. So hopefully that number will just keep growing. I think it's a great thing that they make an event of this that is not just sport related, that is made a big deal. This is great. I think it's a really wonderful event and it was a such a giant effort to try to organize something along these lines and I think the people at Kenilworth and the organizers just did a, a wonderful job and a wonderful service that they're doing for the community. I think one, Kenilworth really, really wants to be um, the, a, a STEM, an example of a STEM school, one that is dedicated to pursuing science and math education, not just for our students, but for students of Louisiana. And I think, so, we, and we want to set ourselves up for that. And so if that means holding events, you know, for, for the greater area, then that's, that's what it is. And um, also, um, it, you know, it promotes a feeling of like, you know, we are a school that is involved in the community. And, um, and I think that that makes you a better school in the end. Why is learning math at this age so important? Oh, it's foundation. Foundation. And so basically what happens is, as kids develop, they develop interest. Um, and then the interest leads them to engage in certain kinds of activities. And those activities um, build habits of mind and, and dispositions and so on. And that then can lead into pretty much anything, something negative, something positive. And getting them engaged with mathematics at this point in, in their careers, and even earlier, to be honest with you, um, helps increase the likelihood that they're actually going to be successful in college algebra and, and, and calculus and those kinds of things. Well, I started out at a young age. I can tell you that I, I enjoyed, I, I learned to enjoy it and uh, puzzles and doing math and games when I was in, in grade school as far back as I can remember. And I think that that's true for 
a lot of people who end out going into 